thanks so much for joining me. I'm excited to launch this Holiday Handmade Series 2015. So I plan on doing five holiday cards and five crafts. So I'm going to start the series off with this trifold card from Art Impressions stamp called The Village. First time doing this. I plan on watercoloring, so I'm using Hero Arts Black Dye Ink, which is great for watercoloring. So then I basically follow directions on the back of the packaging. Um, so you take a piece of paper that's five and a quarter by 11 inches long, and then you score it on both sides to three and five eighths quarter. And then it also kind of gives you where you need to stamp the village in the middle, um, the length of that, and also where the snowman is, and also where the bench goes. And then I went ahead and stamped the snowman, and you're going to see when I stamped the bench that I messed up, so I went ahead and basically restarted a new card, but I didn't refilm it because it's the exact same steps. For the watercoloring, I'm using Distress Inks, and I'll have all of the supplies listed in the description box, but I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through the watercoloring, and I'll join you after that. That finishes all the coloring. That was a lot. And then what I went and did was just cut out the top parts as directed. And now here's the fun part, actually adding all of the details. I think that's what makes this card special besides the water coloring. So I did grab a white jelly roll pen and I noticed like on the bench I actually colored in the where the snow would be on top of the bench. So I went ahead and colored that. And then other places just that I wanted it to be more white and crisp. Like I think I went ahead and added shading on the snowman's face because I actually ran some watercolor on it. And then I tried to fix it and I didn't really like it. So I ended up grabbing the jelly roll pen and running over the face. I don't think I filmed it. Sorry that some of the filming was off, but I will be zooming into the actual card and showing all the details. But again, I took my white jelly roll pen and added stars or snow onto the sky backdrop. I hope you guys are enjoying this video. If you are enjoying it, please give it a thumbs up. 
Now I wanted to spruce up the tree on the right, so I decided to go ahead and add some of this red glitter glue, which is equivalent to Stickles. I think this is the Michaels generic brand um, that I got off the dollar bin and just went ahead and dabbed on the red glue. Now if you mess up, you can always just wipe it off before it dries and then keep adding it. And then I also decided I wanted some sparkle on the stars, so I got um, some gold glitter stickles and added that. And I kind of went off the line, and as I mentioned, I, I think on this part when I was doing it, because I it was just the first time opening the bottom, it was kind of clumpy. And I went ahead and just kind of wiped off quickly, and then as you'll see on the finished product, it's actually much nicer. And then I wanted to go and add some sparkle, so I grabbed my Wink of Stella pen. And this is actually the first time opening the bottle, so it's supposed to dry clear, but I think it was too much um, glitter and shine, but that's okay. A little glitter and shine doesn't hurt anyone. I also decided that the buildings, um, the houses and the church on their doors needed a little bit of glimmer and shine, so I went ahead and added some Wink of Stella on that. And then I also went and added the sentiment, which came with the stamp set. It does say Christmas blessings, bright and beautiful. I did press a little bit hard on the bright, I believe. And so the B and the G comes out a little bit weird. But I went ahead and just took my jelly roll pen and cleaned it up a little bit. That's a trick for you. You don't always have to start all over. I decided I wanted to add a backing to the card. Even though this was a 110 pound card stock, cutting off the sides made it really flimsy and that seemed to help. I basically just grab a grayish blue cardstock and adhered it to the back. So that about finishes the card. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hope you subscribe. Join me tomorrow in my holiday handmade series day two. Tomorrow's actually going to be a craft. I'll see you then. Thanks so much again. Bye.